everyone welcome back to my channel i didn't think i'd be back so soon with another travel video but here i am in cyprus this is very exciting i'm actually on my very first press trip abroad i've flown out here with i want to say eight or nine journalists and bloggers and i'm here with tui and i'm here with robinson which is a hotel brand that's relatively new to the uk this hotel has only really been open for english guests for, I want to say about a year. It's actually a German brand, very popular in Germany. We're actually at like a wellness resort where they do a lot of water sports, tennis, yoga on the beach, Pilates, and so much more. It's our first full day here. We landed really late last night. We had quite a late flight and we landed just before 2 a.m. We've just had breakfast we had a nice drink with everyone got to meet everyone properly that people that weren't on our flight and we also had an hour's tour through the hotel with the general manager so i'm going to insert some clips here the hotel is just incredible i think they have nine tennis courts and they don't have grass which she was saying i think we have in england i don't think it is grass though but they have like the proper like ground for tennis i'm not really a tennis player can you tell and they've got so many pools they've got a kids area but the kids area is really nice because it's quite close to the adults area so you don't just dump your kids in one part of the hotel and then disappear they have numerous football pitches they have a yoga studio which faces the beach they have a water sports station they've got a beach bar they've got like a big poolside bar they have like aqua aerobics or aqua fit in the pool they've got so many different classes going on so the hotel actually have an app which is great because you can just book in all your classes there's actually an archery class happening this afternoon which i opted out of because i've done archery before and it really just cuts into your fingers and it kind of breaks your nails as well <laughs> i feel like such a girly girl when i say that and i'm not but it was just more painful than it was fun so i'm not doing that which means i actually have a little bit more downtime um in comparison to the people that are doing it so i thought i'd really quickly give you a hotel room tour because honestly this room is incredible so as you walk in there's a bit of a hallway and on the left is a coffee machine we got like an information booklet with a map which is super helpful because this resort is huge a bottle of water and actually somebody told me there's a safe in here i was too tired to have a look last night so yeah that's good to know this all this might even be a fridge oh yeah okay an empty fridge which is always very helpful as you go in this way look at this bed <laughs> it's just incredible it's actually two single beds so i don't have a huge duvet to myself which is a bit of a shame but you honestly can't complain this room is far bigger than i expected as you can see i've truly made myself at home so there's a big tv which again like i always say i'll probably never use this was my dinner that i grabbed from prep last night which i don't think many of us ate because we drank a lot of gin on the flight they even left us some food here last night which was so nice because it was a late night snack i was far too tired to even open the cling film and have a look but they tailored it to everyone's dietary requirements which is so nice and there was like a banana and an apple here's all my makeup as you can see and there's a big mirror here with a chair this chair <laughs> was facing this way but i just twisted it so i could vlog and i didn't know how to get out onto the balcony yesterday but i've just asked the maid which is quite embarrassing but here we go this is my little balcony it's actually really big it's nice that there's an area to dry swimwear and I kind of have a sea view. So look at this. If you look closely, you can see the sea just in the distance there, which is so nice. Let me just shut the door because the aircon stops whenever the door's open. So like me, you might be wondering, where's the bathroom? Because I got here and I was like, oh my God, I really need to pee. What do I do? This is so cool. It's like a little hidden, just look at that. It looks like a wardrobe. You open the door and it's incredible. It's so luxurious. Honestly, this just feels like a spa. There's like a big walk-in shower here. If I can show you like that. Massive mirror. This is, I guess, like a double sink. It's huge and it's great because only me staying here. A few of my products. They have these like really lovely, lovely like hand washes, body washes and all the rest of it, which smell incredible. There's obviously the loo and we have some beach towels and regular towels. Ah, oh, little light up wardrobe. I keep discovering new things I was too tired to have a look at last night, but yeah, this is the room. It's so impressive. I won't be spending a lot of time in here though. And tonight we've got this gala dinner. So Robinson, the brand, hosts these like big extravagant 
gala events called Rob Carpets instead of Red Carpet. The dress code is black and white, so I'm really looking forward to that, and that's meant to be quite a dressy event tonight, and it goes on till 3 a.m. They have a nightclub here as well, which opens at midnight, and it is on till 3. I'm not so sure that me or many of the people on this trip are gonna be able to handle that after last night, but you never know. in her natural habitat <laughs> trying to get that shot there's Grace we're all having Aperol sundowners before we go and get ready for the garden dinner I may or may not be tipsy because I've had two Aperol spritzes and by this point I think we all know that I'm a lightweight I also may or may not have just taken the longest detour to my room because I have absolutely no idea where I'm going oh I don't know my bearings yet because this hotel is huge. But now I've got 45 minutes to get ready for the gala dinner. I need to wash my hair, have a shower, do all that fun stuff. <laughs> I'm loving angels in a stream. Vielen, vielen Dank. Schön, dass ihr hier wart. Bleibt ruhig noch ein bisschen hier. Trinkt noch den einen oder been stand up paddle boarding not that I was standing up at all scared for my life but oh my god it was so fun I didn't want to leave I think we spent over an hour here we're meant to do it for an hour here's my paddle board I've got Grace holding my paddle because I can't vlog and do two things at once but it was so much fun and the water is so still it was really really nice there's people windsurfing now but we managed to avoid them so there's no nasty accidents but now I think we're off to maybe have a drink after that such a nice morning. Did you have a good time? Do you want to be my vlog? Oh, it's fantastic. <laughs> yeah, for the first time, this is where we do it really yeah, well. Yeah, we're dying to do it again, aren't we? Yep, I think we're going to try and squeeze in a session tomorrow because <laughs> it, oh, it was so much fun. Just heading for a quick lunch after stand up paddle boarding this morning and oh my god it was so much fun we ended up staying in the water for two hours i think i said and i even managed to get a few clips on my phone which was really lucky because i didn't think i'd be able to take my phone into the water we all had such a great time i think we're definitely going to try and do it tomorrow if we can but today is our second day i should have said our um one full day so we're gonna have a quick lunch meet the others and then we're heading off to do some sightseeing and wine tasting so it should be a really fun afternoon Whew, it's so hot i decided to go make up free today our first stop will be at one of the most important archaeological sites of cyprus the ancient site of kurion come on baby come on darling come on love when i say ela manamu you move as quick as possible ela manamu <laughs> and on this side ela manamu 
job. But because there are works here repairing the roof, they covered it. To but I really think we need a factory boy from that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't step back. Everybody. <laughs> it takes photos. It could be YouTube famous. <laughs> I can hear you perfectly well. I hope the camera yeah. picks it up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pick the grapes, put them in uh, in baskets made of canes. My name is Harris. All these what you see around in front of you uh, are vineyards. We're in the middle of uh, a grape growing region, high above the level of the sea, almost 1,000 meters, 980 uh, meters above the level of the sea. We must all go long. Maria, Hello. give the glasses to your guests. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> they are willing to get a glass because they are going to drink. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I wish to say many thanks to everybody of you attending uh, our presentation and visiting the winery. Uh, stay on the island, I'm sure it will be excellent. I wish you to enjoy that and to return back safely to your homeland with best possible memories. In such a case, the wish in our language is cheers. In your language, yamas. <laughs> <laughs> and I will show you how we sip it, okay? Yeah. One shot, bottom yeah. up. <laughs> Watch me. Yeah. Yamas, Yamas, Sante, Sante. That's it. I think it was time you are trying to get my job, huh? So, no, no, no. I'm doing this to sell wine. So, and make good impression. It's excellent, isn't it? Paris, bravo, bravo. Oh my god, I've tanned so much and I currently look awful with no makeup on, but we had a full on day today. Started with paddle boarding first thing in the morning, then we went swimming in the sea, had a really quick 45 minute lunch, got on a tour bus, there's something in my eye, hold on. <laughs> we had like a private guided tour i'll tell you more about that later we've literally just got back and we've had 10 minutes to run in shower which i've just done i've got no makeup on we have a barbecue on the beach now and we did these like really awful shots when we went wine tasting um wine tasting was really great actually it was really quick um i'm not a big wine drinker but right at the end they gave us a shot and we were all like oof and then it was an hour's drive back on this like little bus thing on all these windy bumpy roads feel a bit sick but we're all hungry and we're meeting at the beach bar for some drinks but first i'm gonna fix my eye really really complex so there's something very profound about you can tell about her knowledge that very kind of high end there's a treat for my birthday and it's in kind of Really? The first part of it. Yes, it's quite a shirt with taste red. Of course. Yeah, if that's okay. okay. Jerry, you're going to have it red, aren't you? Another massive knuckle burger coming. Oh. <laughs> oh, is that? I missed that bit because yeah. I can't take a photo. Two more courses. Oh. We've got falafel burger and then ratatouille with. <laughs> 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 Hello. 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 Hello.
<laughs> no, no thanks. I drink so many. Good morning. It's our final morning here in Cyprus. I hope you can hear me. I'm actually sat at the pool bar and they have some music on that's pretty loud. But I'm just sat here having an iced coffee. I slept really well last night actually. I couldn't sleep for the past two nights. I was running on about three or four hours sleep, which wasn't ideal. Um, we had a yoga class booked for this morning and I know that half of our group didn't make it. I've seen them all wandering around the breakfast area this morning, but I might try and catch the tail end of it once I finish my coffee. Just to go and check it out and take a few photos because I will be writing up a blog post all about this resort. I'm aware that I haven't given you a lot of information about it because we've just been on the go pretty much constantly and when we haven't I've just been chilling, like having a great time, making the most of my free time in the pool, at the beach, in the sea. So it's been really, really nice. Um, it's really sad to be checking out today because it's a lovely day and I just want to go back to going paddle boarding because that was just the most incredible thing. I feel a bit achy, like my arms are definitely sore, and so are my thighs. It kind of reminds me of having been on a night out in my 20s and when you've been on the dance floor all evening and you're like, oh, it's so much pain the next day, but um, it was so, so much fun. As soon as we were done, I texted Jas and I was like, our oh, next trip has to include paddle boarding. It's, I loved it so much. The water was just so still. It definitely wasn't as scary as I thought it would be. It was nowhere near shallow. Like if I'd have fallen in, I would have probably been up in there up to my shoulders at probably the deepest point. So that was great because I was a bit worried about falling into the sea and then losing a contact lens because if I do that, I definitely won't be able to see anything and that was a bit terrifying. I even managed to make it without actually falling off the paddleboard until right at the end. So we had like an hour's class and then I think we were out there for about an hour and a half actually and then we came back, got off the paddleboard completely fine and then I thought oh let's just take some photos and somebody went to get my phone and then I went to get back on the paddleboard and that's when I fell off and I was like damn it I could have just said I never fell off but of course I did right at the end. We were going to um, learn how to sail a catamaran which was um, something that I'd signed up for but there wasn't enough wind so that's a bit of a shame but in all honesty I'm glad that we spent the extra time paddle boarding because I think catamarans are different sizes and the ones here are quite small and I have a bit of a fear about little boats because I fell out of one as a kid so I'm fine with big boats I'm fine with ships and yachts <laughs> but um yeah that would have been fun too there's also windsurfing and they've got so many different water sports on offer I wish I actually had a bit of time to um, try out a few more now that I've got a little taster for it. I've got an algae detox wrap treatment booked at the spa later. So really, really looking forward to that. That'll be such a nice end to a lovely few days away. with the peeling. It's a sea salt peeling with oil mm -hmm. and at first you can lay down on your uh, back. We will start with the full body peeling. After that you can take a shower here oh, and then you can lay down again and then you are on this plastic. Oh, and okay. this plastic. And yeah, I will uh, cover you with the <laughs> It's very green. <laughs> And then we wait for 25 minutes round about that it can be on your skin and after that you can take a shower again and here is a bathroom for you for later. Oh and perfect. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh my god, that was so relaxing. I feel so zen now, really dehydrated though. I had a detoxing algae wrap, so I had this scrub put on me literally everywhere and my skin felt baby soft afterwards had a quick shower and i had to come back lay on the couch while i was still wet and she put this like green i think it was blue though it's really hard to tell in this light this algae all over me it's not a bit funky but she's warned me i'm going to sweat loads today and pee loads because it's detoxing look at the state of my hair <sighs> i just 
just feel like I could have a little nap now. I want a ton of water. I just feel so nice and relaxed. But while I was laying here for 20 minutes, covered in algae and wrapped in cling film with towels all over me, I was just thinking, I've been to like a lot of spas that have been mediocre, like nothing special, maybe in terms of the products that they use or the service. This one has been so premium. The lady was lovely. The products just make my skin feel so incredible. And interestingly, I've never seen a couch like this. The couch is electric, so when you get on it, it's quite low, and then she push, pushes the button and it raises the legs. Let me show you. It's quite dark to see here in the light. The legs raise for her to make it easier on her back, and I've never seen a couch like this before, so I thought that was really cool. <laughs> I can't remember the last time I vlogged today. I'm now in a different room because we had to check out at 11 a.m. The hotel is fully booked and we've all just kind of been hanging out at the two pool bars, went into the pool for a bit, went into the sea. It's actually really choppy today. Um, big waves. It was great fun sort of paddling around, trying not to get my hair wet. And then they gave us a room. I'm sharing a room with Suzanne, who you may have seen in a little clip earlier when we went paddle boarding yesterday. She's also a travel blogger. Um, she's called The Travel Bunny, if you want to go and check her out. And I believe she has a YouTube channel as well. And we're sharing a room, so I've just come to shower. Oh, I think this might be bad news. Everyone's flight home has been cancelled. So far... Okay, mine has been delayed by 20 minutes, which isn't so bad. But this has been a really great trip. We now have to say goodbye to everyone. I think we're one of the first to leave, Grace and I. <laughs>